Welcome to a video overview of the physics derivation graph. My name is Ben. The web page that we're on right now that you're seeing is derivationmap.net. So that is the home page and it gives us uh, an overview of sort of the project concept. Uh, to get started, I'm going to click on the navigation page link. And that takes us to a whole set of options that I'm going to sort of help you uh, walk through. To get an overview of the content, I'm going to start with the Show All Derivations page. So this has a D3JS rendering of the graph of all the different derivations there are, as well as the expressions that relate various derivations. So for your convenience, that's also rendered here as a table. The table shows on the left-hand side a given derivation name and the other derivations on the right-hand side that it is related to by a, one or more inference rules. That's why down here you see multiple instances because there are multiple relations. So with that um, we're going to take a look at one of the derivations um, and so one of them will be the Euler equation proof which is related to the other Euler equation derivations. Um, and so on the review a derivation page this is sort of a generic layout that has a D3JS picture of the derivation as well as a somewhat easier to read uh, statically generated graph is picture of the same graph. So here the inference rules are the upside down blue trapezoids and the expressions are the uh, ovals with the LaTeX input in them. Below that, um, as with so the other pages, the table lays out all the information that's uh, displayed here along with the the LaTeX. There's also some links to um, the reference ID for that LaTeX. And then on the right hand side of the table, there is step validation. So for an example here, um, this step of dividing both sides by, where we started out with um, one LaTeX input and we divided that by Y, we got back that, uh, that out as an output LaTeX, and that is validated by SymPy here. So not all steps are able to be validated, and sometimes uh, SymPy disagrees with the state. So uh, now we're going to take a look at one of the LaTeX expressions. So we'll click on the link there. And that'll take us to a table that shows all the different uh, LaTeX expressions that are present in the, in the database. So um, this LaTeX line here um, is used in this uh, derivation, so in the Euler equation proof. And as we scroll up uh, through these different uh, expressions, some of them have the symbols that are used in the expression hyperlinked. So we can click on one of those, and it will take us to an entry in the symbols table. And the symbols table has a numeric ID for that symbol, as well as a link to which derivations it is used in. All right, so that's basically a quick overview of um, what's available from the sort of static database. Now, if I wanted to add a new derivation, I'd have to sign in. That's a requirement. So if I click on that, I get prompted to the sign in page. I'm going to um, give my username and password here. So now I'm logged in and I can start a new derivation. I'm going to name this derivation uh, my first derivation. And I'm not going to give it a note. That might be something where I want to leave a citation as to where it came from. I'm going to typically start my derivations with um, declare initial expression. That's a typical starting point. And then I'm going to supply a LaTeX expression, and I'm not going to name it or uh, leave a note about it. So what I get back from that is uh, a review of the given step. The step here includes the inference rule and the expression, um, in this case, just one output. So, and here we see that the step validation um, wasn't able to be applied because the declare statements are typically not uh, able to be checked. So I'm happy with this step. I'm gonna accept this step and add a new one. So then I'm gonna uh, add a value to both sides of the expression. Now here I get prompted for many things to, to be supplied, but instead of uh, putting LaTeX in, I'm going to use a local expression. So this local ID here is already present in my list of steps, so I can use that. 
I'm going to add the value 2 to both sides. And because the, the output LaTeX isn't already in the database, I'm going to have to supply that as a new expression. All right, as with before, I get a, a review of the step so that I could edit it if needed. And then um, I see that this step was able to be validated. So SimPy was able to figure out that when I add two to both sides of this expression, I do in fact get that output. I'll accept that and add one more step before we finish up. And the last step I'm gonna typically use in a derivation is the declare final expression. And there again, the, the expression that I wanna link is already present in my database. So I'm just gonna click there as a local ID, and then I'll click on submit. And this is the step that I wanted. So let's review the derivation by clicking on that second option. So here again on the review derivation page, I see that um, there's a D2JS canvas and as well as a static graph is output and then a list of steps. So now I can go back um, to the navigation uh, page and click on show all derivations and see that my derivation has in fact been added to the list of derivations, though it's not actually linked to any of the existing derivations yet. Now lastly, if I um, went to my derivation and I realized, you know what, I actually don't want this in the database, I can delete it. Um, and so I just have to give it the name of the, the derivation to confirm that. All right, so it's deleted, and now I can go back and review the derivations that are present in the database. If I wanted to pick one, uh, let's look at the time invariant force conserves energy. I can either click on display graph is or immediately go to a PDF. But let's go back to the, the review derivation page again. The reason this can take a little bit of time is because it's generating the PNGs for each of the expressions as well as the inference rules and the overall uh, uh, graph is picture here. So this is pretty complicated graph. So it might actually be easier to just view the PDF of that content. So we can get that. This is a dynamically generated uh, uh, PDF and it has hyperlinked all the expressions um, that are referenced in the derivation. It is automatically uh, the same content coming from the PNGs uh, from GraphViz and D2JS. And then we'll go back to the home page and please let me know if you have any questions or comments. The best way to do that is to go to the issues page um, on GitHub and then submit a new issue with either a bug request, a bug uh, notice or some feature request. So with that, thank you very much for watching.